Hello everybody. I just took out my brand new pot to make some matzo ball soup for Pesach. And it reminded me of a very funny story. And I thought I should share that funny story with you guys. So I'm going to tell you a story today that I think everybody's going to find pretty funny. The name of the book is Stone Soup. But this one is Stone Soup with Matzo Balls, a Pesach tale in Helm. Some people say that Helm is a very funny village, but you should listen to the story and decide for yourself. One time, many years ago, right before sundown, before Pesach, a stranger arrived in the city of Helm. And you know, this stranger came into the square and said, on Pesach, all who are hungry are supposed to come and eat. And I am a, a hungry man. Can someone invite me to their home for Pesach? For the Seder tonight? Everybody looked at this stranger and thought, it's been a long winter. Maybe go to the next town, they said. Maybe someone in another town will invite you for Seder. Shmuel pointed the direction of the other town, but the stranger would not budge. He was hungry and needed a place for Seder. He pulled a stone out of his pocket and said, I can make the most delicious matzo ball soup. All I need is a big pot, kind of like this one. And if you give me a big pot, I will make matzo ball soup with just this stone. Everybody knows you need water to make soup, said Mendel. Well, yes, feel free to bring me water when you bring me the pot. So somebody ran and got a big pot and they put the pot over the big fire. And this stranger threw that soup, uh, wasn't soup yet, threw that stone into the pot of water. Just wait, you're going to see a miracle. Oh, I do need a ladle. Yenta said, I'll run and get one. And she ran home and brought back a ladle for the stranger. He took the ladle and dipped it in his pot that all was in it at this point was some water and a stone. He took a sip and said, hmm, you know, this is okay for me. But for the good people of Helm, I think a little salt would add so much to this soup. Oh, said Golda, that's no worry at all. She ran back home and brought her salt shaker. And the stranger took that salt shaker and started pouring it in into his big pot, which had in it water and his stone. Hmm, he said, the salt made a difference, but does somebody happen to have an onion? Moisha said, of course. You think we don't have onions? Children, children, run back home and bring me some onions. I have enough onions in my home that would make you cry for a week. So his children ran to get some onions and the stranger chopped them up and dumped them in his pot. Hmm, he said. Oh, have the people of Helm ever heard of a garlic? Yes, said Cyril. You think we don't have garlic in Helm? Children, she said, go get the garlic. We have enough at home to choke a horse or maybe two. And the children ran and brought the strangers a big, 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 big bag of garlic. He dropped them in his pot and said, are carrots too common for the people of Helm? What, said Yassel? You think we don't have carrots in Helm? Don't be foolish. We use carrots. Children, he said, please run home and get some carrots and maybe some celery and maybe some chicken while you're there. Does this gentleman think we don't have that stuff? Now Yento was watching what was going on and she bent down and said to the stranger, I think I know what's going on here. The stranger stopped stirring and said, what do you mean? Well, she said, you think I don't realize that you said you were going to make matzo ball soup from a stone. Hmm, you're not making it from a stone. We're all bringing you stuff. And you haven't even made matzo balls. She put her hands on her hips and looked in the pot. Where are the matzo balls? Hmm, he said, I almost forgot. 
the stone. The stone is what makes the matzo balls hard and heavy. They'll sit in your belly like a rock for all eight days of Pesach. Guaranteed. You won't need to eat for a week except this soup. I think I'm going to get that going now. Well, said the woman. Mm -mm -mm. I don't like my matzo balls that heavy. I like them light that they could almost fly. Well, said the stranger, that seems impossible. I've never met people so wise and clever that they can make a matzo ball light and airy. Oh, she said, the people of Chaum could make the lightest, fluffiest matzo ball. All the women of Chaum started running, getting their matzo ball mixed together and bringing matzo balls to plop into the soup. Everyone was coming from far and near and looking in the pot. Wow, they said, that stone makes the most amazing miraculous soup. It's a miracle before our very eyes, said the rabbi. All the people looked at the stranger and said, this is amazing. The stranger took a sip. Wow. It took four men to lug the heavy pot to the shul. The shul was the only place big enough where all the people of Chelm could fit for a seder. And there were so much grape juice and piles of matzah and horseradish and everything you could possibly need for Seder. And so much soup. Oh, by the meal, the stranger stood up and said, where's the ladle? I'm going to have to give the good people of Chelm some of this soup. Wow, and I have something to say. A hush fell over the crowd. Everyone was quiet, listening to the stranger as he spread his arms wide and said, all who are hungry, please come and eat. And some may say that the people of Chaum are not smart, but that Pesach, everyone had a full belly, even the stranger. Now, is there anything foolish about that? <laughs>